Just wow. telling you. Great. Oh, and did I ever get to meet the chic Ed Farhat? PBR, yes. Uh, street gang. Did you ever get to meet Ed Farhat? I actually got my picture taken with the Sheik wearing the United States Championship belt with an independent show in 1991 after I'd left um, WCW. But the first, after all those years, I was never around and never around. And finally, the 88 Great American Bash in Detroit, Dusty arranged to book the Sheik. It was the Sheik and Dusty against Kevin Sullivan and Dick Murdoch, right? And Detroit had not been doing well, not been doing well. They did over a $100,000 gate that night. And Bobby Fulton grew up in Ohio and got to see the Sheik in his glory days as a childhood wrestling fan. So me and Bobby Fulton are standing in the back watching the first match, but we're waiting for the Sheik to show up because the first match on the card, this was his deal. The first match on the card would be going and all of a sudden the back door of the Kobo Arena would lift and in would come the stretch limousine and out would get the driver. And he'd walk around and the other, maybe the other bag assistant would get out of the other side and they'd walk around and they'd open the door. And out would step the Sheik with a three-piece suit on with no shirt, a big amulet, and his headdress. And they would grab the bags and they would fall in behind him as he... And so now there's a match going on in the ring and, there, and there's fucking 8,000 people or whatever it is with their heads craned to watch the Sheik because he was that larger-than-life personality. And... I've seen people come into the into the arena on actual entrances for their matches on horseback, Lawler, and drop from the ceiling. Lawler did that. A bunch of people, Sting has done that, and every kind of in between. The most magnetic entrance I ever saw into a building was just for the guy, just for the periphery of people to just see by, like, ooh, because he it, all the focus wasn't on him, but he knew that if he carried it even that level to come in when the show is already going on and interrupt things and blah, 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 and just they see him just walking out from the car to the locker room door. That was good enough. That guy made money for 40 fucking years. He never dropped his gimmick. Well, the problem is he lost the money because he never dropped his gimmick. And as you can take a good thing way too fucking far. Well, <laughs> the focus has been on you for the